Hey, I am April from Getting Hugo With It. Today I am doing another Top 5 Wednesday video. Today's theme is favorite science fiction and fantasy books. So let's jump right in. The first book is The Martian by Andy Weir. This follows the story of an astronaut who is left on Mars. He is the botanist of the group and he is collecting uh, material on Mars. A storm blows in and they have to abort the mission. They leave, they think he's dead, but he's still alive. What I loved about this book was absolutely the main character. This guy is so witty and so unscientisty. He is fantastic. He swears up a storm, so if you don't like swearing in books, definitely skip this one. Uh, but I just love that he's in this ridiculously insane predicament and he can still find the humor in it all. I also really found it fascinating that you could make something so technical, you know, just trying to survive on Mars, trying to get back in touch with Earth, trying to do all of these things that are very, very, very technical. I assume that all of this stuff would go way, way over my head, but he made it so fascinating. And yes, there were a lot of little details, but the drama was so there. I loved this book. The next book is The Girl with All the Gifts by M.R. Carey. Now this follows a little girl who lives at a school. And every day when it is time to go to class, uh, guards come into her room and she makes sure that she's strapped into this chair. They bring her out into this classroom and she learns. And all of the children around her are also strapped to chairs. And every once in a while, if the teacher gets too close, the children will kind of lose their minds and lash out very violently. And one day all hell breaks loose and this little girl decides to try to save her teacher, her most beloved teacher. The creep factor for me was really high, particularly at the beginning of the book. I think I enjoyed the beginning more than the middle or the end. However, the relationship that is built over time between the teacher and this little girl is really, really beautiful and interesting. So if you like science fiction with a little fear factor in there, the girl with all the gifts. My next book is The Lord of the Rings by J.R. Tolkien. Everybody knows the story of The Lord of the Rings, so I'm not going to dive into that. However, what I will tell you is that I loved the world building that Tolkien is able to create here. I still can't believe that this man was able to create an entire language just for Middle Earth. I loved that it was so otherworldly and yet so inherently relatable as well. Now this book is quite a beast. It's a very long book but it's well worth it and following Frodo and Sam to the very end is an absolute joy. The next book is His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. His Dark Materials, if you haven't read it, is so, so beautiful. The world building is absolutely fascinating. Essentially every human being walking the earth in, the, in a world very similar to ours has a daemon, which is an animal that's kind of attached to you. Now adults, their daemons always remain the same. So some adults have jackrabbits and some have sloths. Actually, I don't think any of them had sloths in his dark material. The children's daemons, they change up until the point of puberty. And Lyra is such a rich character. She is a feisty, don't mess with me little girl who can rough and tumble just as much as the boys. I loved Lyra so much and you are rooting for her the entire way. I also thought it was a really interesting commentary on religion and the concept of original sin. Really fascinating, smart, smart work. It is meant to be children's, children's fiction. However, I think adults get just as much of, out of this as 
children. I read this um, in my children's literature course at Queen's back in the day um, and absolutely loved it. The next book I have is Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. I think I am definitely massacring that name. I'm so, so sorry. Um, this is like a quasi science fiction book. You don't really know if it's science fiction or not until a certain point. And then I think everyone would say it is science fiction. Maybe this is my first book by this author and I'm definitely picking up more. Uh, it's the type of book that sticks with you for a very long time. I still find myself wondering about these characters and what we're capable of doing as human beings to other human beings. So those were my favorite science fiction and fantasy books. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Bye!